Marit Poulsen, I've asked you to come here to discuss a little bit about not only something very concrete you are working at or have been working at, but also in general your approach when it comes to animal welfare. Yeah. You ask us, and I am including myself, not to be too emotional, perhaps emotional still, but to be realistic. Please elaborate a little bit about that. Yeah. Of course, the emotional or the feelings and the believing are what, what is the powerful energy in your engagement. But if you want to reach your target, you are living in a democracy. You are living in, together with a lot of other people. Uh, they don't have exactly the same feeling as you. They are looking at, for an example, a pig from another side. Uh, Perhaps I want, even I from want... another culture. Yeah, but oh, even in the same culture, okay. you see mm -hmm. it from different way. Mm -hmm. So um, I want. I have been fighting for a good life uh, for a pig and uh, not the stressed or painful slaughter. Your report has been focusing on animal health situations where it's connected to human health situation. Yes, but be, because, please, try to understand, the pig is an, an, is an mammal, but you are also a mammal. I hope so. <laughs> so. That's the connection. That is one of the realistic points, is the connections between the animal health and the human health. Uh, so, if you say a happy pig is a healthy pig, and thereby it, it healthy is food. A, it is a tasty pig, and it is a um, profitable pig. It is an, a happy pig have a better efficient for the feeding systems than the unhappy pig. So also, if you are looking at the economic, economy, or the health, or the environment point of view, you can see that a happy pig have plus value, whatever you look at. In the report, in what you have been fighting with the commission about, yeah. You have achieved something I learned today at the meeting of the Intergroup yeah. for Animal Welfare here at the Parliament. What have you achieved? Uh, uh, the first point is that whatever they measure the humans are taking, the authorities, they need to be the stress, not painful, uh, for the animals. And it doesn't matter if it is the, um, the cows, the pigs, or it is the wild animals or the stray dogs. You need to be careful when you take measures. That is maybe the most important point because it's for all the animals. But when you are talking, at, yeah, and yeah. when you are talking, uh, when we are talking about biosecurity. Uh, to try to stop the infections, diseases. The uh, so the, the first point is good husbandry. But, and that's why I say to the animal welfare group and people like you, please, this is a fantastic tool for you because what is the exact definition or good husbandry. Yeah, that's animal welfare. Thank you so much, Mary Paulson. I wish you all the best. Thank you. 
and I, the rest of my life I will play, love, fishing and playing golf and maybe write a book again.